Hi everyone, my name is Fola Afolayon and I am a tarot reader, Reiki practitioner, and artist integrating art and healing. And I'm here to offer you a weekly reading, well now mid-weekly reading, in hopes to support you during this time. So we're going to get right into it with the Crow Tarot. I love this deck. I've been seeing a lot of crows lately. <laughs> They've been having a lot to say. So I'm going to use the Crow Tarot and then we'll transition into the Oracle. And as usual, we take a few moments to ground, acknowledge the spirits coming in and just be prepared for this reading. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest love, truth, and compassion, please assist us with our weekly message. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we please have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe. gonna leave it at those two that's what's coming yeah these two <laughs> okay um all right so the first card that we have is the queen of cups which definitely resonates with me as a cancer son <laughs> uh the queen of cups is all about sitting on your throne of intuition being grounded in your emotions you know it is a, a heavy emotional time so this could be an invitation to allow those emotions to come through, but also find ways to care for yourself and show up for yourself before you show up for others so that your cup is full. Sit with your intuition, trust your intuition, take moments to be still and find ways to get clear about things in whatever way makes sense to you. For some people that could be walking or running, for some people that could just be in sitting in meditation, but this is definitely an invitation to tune into your inner guidance system and be still and be clear about what you want or what messages are coming through to you. And then next to that, this card is always tricky for me, honestly, but we get temperance. And with this Queen of Cups in combination with Queen of Cups, it's definitely saying like, yeah, don't um, be rash in terms of making decisions, really sit down and be clear and be still and don't rush to make any decisions don't be hasty really listen to your guidance system if you're connected to your spiritual team take time to listen to them there might be things going on work they're trying to work out some things in your highest good right now but really just chill whenever i get temperance it's like chill just calm like calm down before you make any decision today find a level of balance or equilibrium and learn how to integrate new lessons so this is definitely an invitation just to be still um, if you journal, this is also a good card for that, you know, before you're making any decisions, doing things in moderation, eating, consuming things, making sure you're spending in moderation. So don't rush. There's so much going on right now. And there's so many distractions that you just kind of want to uh, rush into something or find an escape. But this is saying take some moment to just quiet the mind if you can and listen to whatever information is coming through temperance. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is transition into the Work Your Light Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. And we're going to take a few moments.
spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest love, truth, and compassion. Please assist us with our oracle message for this week. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe. What do we need to know this week? Okay. Ooh, yep, yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this card. So we get awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration, awakening. Such a beautiful card. Mm -hmm. Awakening. And I think this is falling in line with temperance. Like you have to have some time to integrate new things that are happening energetically, emotionally. Um, and allowing those things to kind of clear out. So if you need to process some emotions and take some time to just be still, even if it's like five minutes a day to like integrate new things or new messages that are happening, this is a good time to do that. So let's read Awakening. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you're experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven in through all of life, or even feeling kundalini shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for you this time is not to overthink and to, and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books, and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work for your light activation. Hold the card to your heart and say, I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe, using me in a way that delights my mind, body, and spirit. Ashe. So there might be some changes that you're going through, some awakening. And like I said, you know, journaling, um, walking, writing, any form of meditation that works for you. It's so funny because I hadn't been doing my morning pages and this morning I had an urge to, to journal my morning pages. So if that helps to release energy or uh, new ideas come up, that, that's a great tool to use. If you're having an idea to create something, this might be a confirmation to go ahead and continue with that process and really care for yourself during this time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of integrating and, and change, but it requires us to find some sort of grounding and balance. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to leave some information below in my YouTube page. So if you would like to donate or volunteer to funds for, uh, for relief for Hurricane Ida, I'm going to leave that in my description box below for YouTube. There are some volunteer options that I've received via email, so I'll just leave those down below as well as organizations you can donate to during this time. 
If you'd like to book a reading with me, I'm going to leave all of that down in the description box below and the link will be in my bio for Instagram. Everything is now on folaafolayon.com. That's my new website. Simple, it's easy. You can find it, everything. Hopefully it's accessible to people and I'm looking forward to connecting with you all. And lastly, if you'd like to join my Patreon, I'm going to leave that information down below on YouTube and the link will be in my bio for Instagram. It's a great place to cultivate community and get consistent readings from me. Also journaling prompts so you're learning how to apply the tarot yourself and use it in a way where you can cultivate your own tuition, intuition and have community. So if you're at a crossroads or a transition, those are the people I usually attract this is the patreon for you so if you want more information all of that is going to be down below or in my bio for instagram take care of yourselves if you have the space to take care of others after you've taken care of yourself first please do so I know it's a lot going on and i will see you all in the next video bye